I was born in Czech Republic. I was two when I came to Coventry. I moved to Coventry like four years ago, I could say. I come from a big family, a weird but rare mix, half Pakistani and half Jamaican. I have a lot of family in Coventry. Well, they're my step family. Before that, I used to live in Germany. And um, before Germany, I used to live in America, Alabama. I came to Coventry, I was I think like around about nine or ten. I was born in Coventry. I was I grew up in Waverley slash Eastern Green. I still live in Eastern Green. I wasn't actually born in Coventry, but I've lived here for most of my life. It's been like three uh, three years now. I've been here, but usually I came from my country, India. We were born in Slovakia. I was born in Wolfsgrave Hospital. I was born in Coventry. Grew up in Hillfield. I was born in Coventry as well. I was born in Coventry and grew up in Hillfield. When I was younger, I lived in Kersley. On some days I get told I look Asian, on some days I look black, and on some days I look mixed, but so I am. If some people looked at you when you came here like six years ago, they'd think, I oh, know, this girl ain't going to take anywhere. Yeah. She's just going to be like every single Slovakian. But then if they see you now, they, they, they could see the change. That's what makes me different like to them, because I have grew up here and like say my English is better and... I, I understand more and then, like they always turn around to me and they're like oh you act so English and stuff and I'm just like I grew up here like my whole life. <laughs> I didn't know anything about this city apart from we had family and family friends living here. When you first drive into Coventry on the Coventry thing it says city of peace or something. Here in Coventry it's more relaxed. It's not Coventry itself it's the people. The people around here are just yeah, how they talk to yeah. you. Yeah. People are more, much nicer. It's just like family, but we don't even know it's each welcoming. other. It's welcoming. Yeah, you know? It's welcoming. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's open. It is a big family. It's dysfunctional, but it is a big family. The people here are lovely. And it's really easy to like get to know someone. People aren't really like, exclu like they don't exclude people. Like, for example, if I was with a friend, and they had a friend that I didn't know, they'd be really like willing to talk. So yeah, people are nice here. But when, when we came here, everything changed. I stayed after schools for dance, then I came here and then I met all these people. I do have a little group of friends to be honest. Made a lot of friends at school. And making new friends. I've been friends with a um, Zimbabwean, I've been friends with an Afghan, I've been friends with an Arab with Arabs, I've been friends with Asian people, uh, white people, basically everyone. There's people of all different backgrounds and it's given me more of an insight into how different people function and what their um, backgrounds and their morals and their values are and stuff like that so as soon as i came here and i started to get to know people it was actually pretty cool like just hanging around you know what i mean i i don't feel like intimidated or anything it's pretty yeah. chilled it's just more chill like they're more relaxed more calm uh actually in break time in, like school i play with the boys it's kind of like girls normally don't play with us so like they get shy but after school there are some girls who come to play with me and the boys, and then we have matched with them, like boys versus girls, and like that. And also, like, it's quite fun because sometimes we defeat them, and so it's quite enjoyable. Uh, I suppose, like, it's kind of like it gives me confidence, but hopes as well. It was around about here where we started making friends because we lived up the road. We just randomly explored this area first. I started coming here when I was 10, so that's five years now because I'm 15, obviously. And it means a lot to me because it's like I'm taking this like home. I know all the people, I feel comfortable. Everything that the youth club does for us, I think that's what changed some people that yeah. what, what the youth club does for them and the opportunities they give them. How do you get from Hillfields to Fellows Hill without going on the main road? No answer? Down the canal. <laughs> <laughs> we are at the snake. We would ride our bikes here. Yeah. This was the central of where everyone met up, from school friends to mosque friends to people you meet at youth clubs, music sessions. This is where everyone would meet up. Basically, we're at the tin right now, um, at the Canal Basin. This is where uh, I used to come to perform. You know, they have open mics here, organized through the PYF. PYF, because it's, it's a, a bomb. <laughs> Positive Youth Foundation, and that is where our whole music thoughts 
and responsibilities changed. And this is where I kind of got the confidence of performing, of connecting to new people. We're at the Memorial Park. It's a place where usually lo lots of events happen, like the Godiva Festival and other stuff like the fair, like kids stuff, something to do in the summer. What we're here is because it was local to everyone. So it wasn't hard to get to and it weren't locked off from everything. Because Coventry is like an old place. Three days a week I'm in town and I'm always by something that's got a historical meaning, whether you know it or not. Herbert Art Gallery, the cathedral, there's lots of different places. The museum, transport museum. It's Coventry, we've got so much history, you know, and it's so lovely for people. You see tourists here walking around the transport museum, you never understand that that's such a massive, amazing thing. Yeah, Fargo, I like Fargo Village and. I like, I know it sounds corny, but I like the Transport Museum, like, me and my yeah, dad used to go there when I was younger, and, yeah, library, I always go to the library. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 87 Centre, we normally go play football. It's a good place to stay, but I don't think the football's, like, up to standard. Like. I've had, yeah, I go every week, if we're playing at home, sometimes I go away. I had five years of season ticket now, this is my fifth year, season ticket. It's pretty centre-based, pretty local, basically, it's easy to get to. People think that Coventry is bad. I wouldn't change, not a single thing. Coventry means a lot to me. Coventry itself is a nice place. It's got tourist attractions, the Coventry Museum, the Transport Museum, the Cathedral. It's got town, it's, everything's local, everything's close. Everyone knows each other. Everybody knows everyone. Everyone knows each other, like, no matter what. Everyone knows everyone. I know everyone, like, around here, because like, a small, like, area and then like, everyone interacts with each other and it's nice isn't it? I know when I walk through town I'm like yo hey hi like to a lot of people because like it's just well it's 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 a big space but it's like small. Coventry is quite small you don't really need you know major form of transport you can just walk to places everything's in walking distance. Coventry is small but when you actually come to this place and when you come to Godiva you see so many people and you're like oh my god like where did this all come from? So, yeah, it's a bit surprising when you come here. Like, you see a lot of new faces. I could say it is a pretty live city for the size of it, so it is getting a name. Here, this is where the passion started. This is where I started to dance. This is where it began. Because you know everyone. They have an expectation of you, so you have to keep that up. It's where I built my, where I really started getting into music. So I got to give a lot of props to a lot of people here. If we wouldn't come to this youth club, we wouldn't perform in like big places in front of big audiences. We wouldn't know different people. Yeah. I play music in um, mainly in town. If there's an event or something, we we'll go to that. If there's any place anywhere, we'll just go there. Coventry, there's not much going on, but you find that sense of contentment here as well. I think there's actually a good setup, but people don't realise how much of a setup there is. We take it for granted. So um, there's a lot of opportunity to do things that you want to do, but we just don't recognise it's not promoted enough. It's pretty good actually, they have a few venues, but they just need a few more things to actually show these local artists and the upcoming people, you know what I mean? The best part is the Good Iver Festival, they have acts here. It's just like so many activities going around you and you're just like, what do I do first? And it's just, it gives you a little like buzz. Yeah. 300 words that I've said Just wait for part two You ain't heard all the rest Bless Do you know where that is? 